What are the best weapons in the game? Spice Weapons Guide Edition 1 Same as I said in the Armors Guide that was uploaded to the channel some days ago, the best weapons in the game are the ones that fit your gameplay style. But, based on the combat system of the game and creatures, weaknesses and resistances, there is a direction you need to take. As the variables of the weapon systems change, this guide will be updated. So, if you want to always carry a well thought set of weapons, subscribe to the channel. And hey, I don't want to keep you stuck in a long video to get the final recommendation. That's just not the way I roll. If you want to stay to learn all details, awesome. If you don't, here's my final recommendation. Fresh Black Ox Hammer, level 9. Use on every bug with shell protection and the infected wolf spider. Spicy Termite Axe level 9. Use on Bombardier Beetle and every spider but the brood. Mighty Salt Morning Star level 9. Your all around weapon for small bugs and other creatures. Combo it with the crossbow to kill ants and termites. Fresh Spider Fang Dagger level 9. Your weapon for underwater combat, the infected larva and the infected mite. Combo it with the crossbow to kill bees and mosquitoes. Mighty Crossbow level 9. With Feather Arrows perfect to kill, Green Shield Bug, Stink Bug, Fireflies, Dust Mite and Scarab. I don't expect you to remember all that, reason why I created this cheat sheet that you can download through a link added to the description of this video. Now, you are welcome to stick around to know why I picked all these weapons. Since the 0.11 update, hot and hazy, there are a lot of speculations about what are the best weapons and upgrades to kill each creature in the backyard. Well, the creature's card came to the game to end this. Or not. But one thing is certain, there will be no more questioning about what type of strike or forged upgrades is the best. If you're not familiar with these two concepts, or even how to upgrade weapons, I suggest you to watch the first weapons guide series made on this channel. A link to the first chapter was added to the video description. Regardless of that, one thing will always be open to discussion. What are the best weapons to carry? This is the inventory of weapons you would have to carry to perfect match every weakness of all creatures in the backyard. I don't recommend going this route. The seconds you will save when killing a bug are not equal to or greater than the time spent on weapon swapping and traveling back and forth because of a full inventory. My weapons recommendation prioritizes defensive combat and having free inventory spaces. I rarely die on grounded and always come back to base with an inventory full of resources. Keep it simple and choose weapons based on your strength. What I hope to achieve with this guide is to share the reasons why I made my choices and with that help you do your own choices. Same as we did in the armor set video guide. If you didn't watch it, you can also find a link to it in the video description. In Grounded, you will always need to carry tools, and tools are powerful weapons. So why not start with that? Fresh Black Ox Hammer Level 9 The hammer is a busting type of strike weapon, and all creatures vulnerable to it have one thing in common. All of them have shell protection, except for the infected wolf spider. Possibly, that's why they are vulnerable to busting and resistance to all other types of strike. 
I chose to go fresh on the forged upgrade because the infected wolf spider is vulnerable to it and, in my opinion, the most challenging one to kill. Fresh also covers all the ladies. If you feel the roly poly is a bigger challenge to you, forge spicy to the hammer. Just remember that all listed creatures here are vulnerable to one forged upgrade and resistance to all others. If you prefer to be in the middle ground, forge mighty to the hammer. It takes 3 perfect combos, 9 hits, to kill the infected wolf spider with the fresh black ox hammer level 9. And it takes 4 perfect combos, 12 hits, to kill it with the mighty black ox hammer level 9. All tests in this guide were done with no mutations activated or food buffs equipped. Spicy Termite Axe level 9. The axe is a chopping type of strike weapon, and guess who is vulnerable to it? The wolf spider. As all spiders are vulnerable to spicy, the spicy termite X level 9 becomes a perfect weapon against these 8 legged creatures. It takes 2 perfect combos, 6 hits to kill the wolf spider. Even though the Bombardier Beetle is not vulnerable to spicy, it is vulnerable to chopping and it also takes two perfect combos, six hits, to kill it. With these two tools we have covered 16 of the 48 creatures in the backyard. Mighty Salt Morning Star level 9. The Salt Morning Star is a generic type of strike weapon and the only one-handed tier 3 weapon in the game. This means that the Salt Morning Star starts with a base damage higher than any other one-handed weapon and sometimes will do more damage regardless of the weakness and resistance of a creature. For example, all ants are vulnerable to stabbing and spicy. A perfect weapon would be the spicy mosquito needle level 9, right? Wrong. The spicy mosquito needle level 9 kills a red soldier ant with 6 hits, while the salt morning star level 9 kills it with 4 hits. Being a generic tier 3 weapon makes the Salt Morning Star the most consistent one-handed weapon in the game. But Spy, what about the two-handed weapons? Because of the three combo damage system and how powerful shields are in the game, in my opinion, two-handed weapons are not the safest option for solo players. With the right skills and weapons, two-handed can work just fine but it's not my choice. If you are playing with friends, two-handed weapons is a much more viable option, even better when having one teammate playing as the tank of the group. The Salt Morning Star level 9 will one-shot most of the tiny creatures, Of all weapons, it is the safest weapon to kill ant lions. Ladybird larva and larva have no resistance to it. It takes around 7 hits to kill the ladybird larva and 3 hits to kill the larva. Combo it with the mighty crossbow level 9 with feather arrows to kill red ants, black ants and termites.
Termites are vulnerable to salty. Last but not least, you can take down the Termite King with around 17 hits. Fresh Spider Fang Dagger level 9. One thing you also need to have in your inventory is an underwater combat weapon. The Spider Fang Dagger is a slashing weapon that can be used underwater and is very useful against fly insects because of its poison. The Diving Bell Spider is the only threat underwater. It is vulnerable to slashing but resistance to fresh and poison. It takes around 3 hits to kill it with the fresh Spider Fang Dagger level 9. Not bad. All other creatures underwater are fairly easy to kill. The poison can help you with the water belt man. In the haze area, the fresh Spider Fang Dagger level 9 is a better weapon when compared to the mighty Salt Morning Star level 9. It kills the infected larva with almost the same number of hits and when needing to back up because of the explosive attack, the poison keeps doing damage. It also does more damage to the infected mite. Combo it with the mighty crossbow level 9 with feather arrows to kill bees and mosquitoes. Both are vulnerable to slashing and fresh. As distance and range can be a problem with flying creatures, the poison damage helps get a faster kill. Mighty crossbow level 9 with feather arrows. We've been talking about the Mighty Crossbow for a while now. These are the creatures the Mighty Crossbow level 9 plus Feather Arrows work perfectly as a solo weapon. Green Shield Bug, around 16 shots. Firefly, 2 shots. Stink Bug, 3 shots. <laughs> Dust Mite, 2 shots. Scarab, 1 shot. The only creature in the game this guy didn't cover was the Brood Mutter, as it requires a specific preparation to kill it. If you like my weapon setup, remember I did a cheat sheet for it and you can download it by following the link posted on the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, for those that are already subscribed, thank you for your support. If you have any questions about the 0.13 update or anything else on Grounded, leave a comment below and I will help you. It's okay, I'll let you spy on me.